coming to you live from Slavin Main Stadium in Tara Bay, home of the Mutineers. The stadium is filled to capacity, and this crowd is really feeling it. Grim, pirates don't feel much unless the feelings include the rust they get from gutting a man from head to toe and spill his guts out after the dark. Well, you got that right, partner. Let's play some football. Today's matchup promises severed limbs and ruined careers and lots of lots of beers. The San Francisco 49ers battle, the Terror Bay Mutineers. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. The paddy wagons in the parking lots are full. The familiar scent of bodily fluids in the air. And the men's room is both flooding and on fire. And that means NFL game day is on the air. Hi, everyone. Grim Blitzer along with Bricks and Bricks Jr. Man, last week some mutant let out a lava blast in one of the stalls in the men's room. Place went up like an oil rig. Flames and explosions. Water shooting out of where the toilets were. <laughs> I electrocuted myself using the electric hand dryer. I wish they had paper towels at least as an option. down! I've seen this guy drop a lot of balls in the past, but I heard the quarterback threaten to throw him a real bomb if he dropped one again. You know, good communication is important. And it's first and ten. And that's a sack! Speaking of sacks, has anybody seen my powder? I'm itching like crazy over here! Second down in a lot. This is your brain, and this is your brain on Berserk. Oh, now the offense is getting kills. Ah, uh, this is a really violent game, guys. It's fantastic. They pick up a nice chunk of yards on that pass play. This is going to be a long kick. Let's see if he can make it. He is automatic. Nice kick. Boring. Just get the points and let's move on. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah, that's why he made this clothing company. Pow! And how about a little dirt sandwich? <laughs> and it's first and ten. Offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. First down and forever. And picks up maybe a deuce at most. Uh, speaking of deuces, I got a... Uh... <clears throat> Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. Hot one, hot two, hot, 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 hot. That's a gain of seven yards on the catch. Nicely done.
Third down and long. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot. Eight. He took a beast boost injection. Now watch him stomp all over his opponents. I want to take a beast boost injection too. Uh, now that is weird side effect, Briggs. And that was equal parts great run and bad defense. Well, they couldn't pick up a first down, so now they have to punt. And he put all of his foot into that one. And he's got a chance for a good... Oh, mama! He just knocked him into the next time zone! Once he finds his head, he'll be okay! Well, you mistake him, man. You get up in my grill, I'm gonna ruin your world. I'm gonna wreck it! And it's first and ten. Hot one! Hot two, hot three. And that is called for a first down. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. When I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. That's a killer. It was right there, and then he dropped it. Oh, scumbag is killing me in the fantasy league. Third and four. Tired of the quarterback's tight spirals and magnetic personality. And then I'm... Oh, come on. That was a cheap shot. <laughs> That's why I love this guy. And so are the fans. First and ten. And like a monkey trying to fuck a grease football. Touchdown! Should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> and then, my friends, is why the world hates kickers. I kind of feel sorry for them. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. First and ten. Oh, what a brutal hit! Second down and more than the QB would like. like he had a load in his pants. Picks up maybe two. Uh, we always ran with a load in our pants, Grim. It's a pretty good defensive tool. Yeah, except the zombies. They are freaks. Talk for the first down. Yeah, man, I was hanging on the kettle now. You know what happened? <laughs> And it's first and ten. First down! He hit that line the way a rolled up dollar bill sticking out of flimsy Lohan's nose. It's a mare in Lost Wages, Nevada. And it's first and ten. Quarter one. 
Well, the good news is there's still time to make it a game. Second down in a very lot. And the quarterback throws a murder ball, which will slice its way through any defensive player trying to move. Oh, oh, oh. that gets me every time. Like a jack-in-the-box, Bricks. You never know when one of those hot potatoes is going to blow. You just crap your pants, Junior. First and ten. And he picks up maybe four on that play. Second down and six.
first and long. And the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not gonna take it anymore. <laughs> First down in a mile. Great catch for a big game. But still not enough for a first. Even I'm frustrated, and I'm a team agnostic. And that'll be second and eight to go. Sings it in there for a four-yard gain. Third and four. And here comes the extra point attempt. Straight through the uprights. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. First and ten. I ate a piece of licorice once and got a shot like that. It wasn't licorice, you idiot. It was the frayed cords of the leaf blower. Well, it was a red cord and it looked like licorice. The point is... Uh, I forgot my point. <laughs> It's first and ten. Defense gives up five yards on that pass play. They stump the clock with their first timeout, leaving them with two in case they need them. Yeah, just like condoms, hatchets, and wives, huh, Grim? You know, you just summed up why we don't get together outside of work, Bricks. And the quarterback drills one in for the first down. Hey, man, nobody can touch you an eyeball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Hey, what you talking about, pal? And the offense quickly calls their second timeout. That's how you do it. Do what? And it's first and ten. And he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Nicely done. Hey, you see that move, baby? No, you didn't. You know why? I'm too fast for you. I'm the greatest. The greatest, I tell you. <laughs> Well, why go for one when you could go for two? It's always been my philosophy, but Bricks can't even get Bam! Gutsy run for the conversion! Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. <laughs> and 
It's first and ten. And he picks up about six on the play. The offense calls a timeout. This is why you save your timeouts. You can use them in the two-minute warning. Now I get it. Makes sense, Grim. And that'll be second down and four. QB saves some clock by calling a timeout. They have one left. The offense wants to speed things up, so it signals a hurry up. Yeah, same as Chris's ex girlfriend signaled when they were doing it. Yeah, she called it rabbit sex. I took it as a coming. That's the way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game is all about momentum and killing. The quarterback burns his last timeout. They can't stop the clock anymore. The quarterback shifts gears and goes into his hurry-up offense. Catch the ball, get the first down, and don't die. See, it's really a simple game when it comes down to it. And it's first and ten. They're going for two points. And he runs it in for an easy two points. The momentum in this game may be shifting. Ron, I'll not just my balls. Hey, thanks for sharing, Briggs. <laughs> hey, Miles, he got a title now. They all have. <laughs> When you get knocked down, you gotta get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. And it's first and ten. He picks up a two. And that's the end of the second quarter. Someone will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their lockers. Stay with us for the Halftime Show, brought to you by our friends at Monsatan Industries. We make genetically altered frankenfood you'll have fun trying to identify. Well, the third quarter coming up. Bricks, this game has been a hot mess so far. Yeah, kind of like the morning after eating hot chicken wings. It's a hot mess on the exit ramp, if you know what I mean. Hey, okay, the back Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. He sets up for the return. Let's see if he can break one wide open. He 
boomed that one. Let's see if they can get a return. He's got the ball now and is going to pow with the brain scrambler. And it's first and ten. That ball was almost intercepted. Second down and ten. It's about a three yard pickup. And that'll bring up third down and seven. And he reels that one in for a first down to keep the drive alive. And it's first and ten. And they just popped his eyes in the back of his head. That quarterback can be hurting or dead. Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. You can't keep a good mutant down. You ever get hit in the head with a bulldog grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. but smart time to punt whoa whoa you can't say that on the radio nice punt should move him back nice the return man catches the ball and hits the field oh nice hit and it's first and ten smile so much. He says his secret is that he's poisoned the minds of a thousand men. <laughs> Whatever works, I guess. <laughs> and they line up for the extra point. The kick is good. They need a good return here to set up the offense. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. Oh, man, he really wants it. And it's first and ten. Ready for that bombs away dirty trick that time. Second down and ten. Oh, what a hit! Hey, Bricks, what does it feel like to get hit like that? Uh, like being dropped off a 10 story building with a refrigerator strapped to your back and landing on a fire hydrant. Yeah, great analogy. Oh, no, no, that really happened. Cod game got a little out of hand last night. You can't have five aces, you dumbass. Oh, great pass on that play. They caught the defense napping. And out comes the most underrated position in football the mighty punter. And he got it off. That's a decent punt. 
He's got the move. That hit's going to shave a few days off his life. Look, seriously, man, you think you can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? You get my grill, I'll ruin your world. Ruin it. And it's first and ten. He's got his beast boost working. The player just transformed into a violent form of pure badass. Devastating hit knocks the ball loose. And the ground game is starting to soften up the defense. First down. And it's first and ten. I'm going to say maybe three yards, but a tough three yards. Second down and seven. And that's the way to get the sticks moving. He picks up five on that play. Third and two. Maybe the QB should throw it and catch it too. Don't do anything stupid here. Just punt the damn ball and play defense. And he put all of his foot into that one. And he snags the punt and looks for open feet. Ouch! What is this, 80s wrestling? And it's first and ten. You can tell he's a berserker because he's frothing at the mouth. Oh, that guy? Follow the screens, Bricks. Oh, yeah, that's way easier. Thanks, Clem. I take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? Second down and a lot. Oh, and the defense jumps on sides and attacks the QB. And in some leagues, you aren't even allowed to touch the QB. In the NFL, the offense has only two quarterbacks remaining on the roster. They better be careful because when those guys die, it's forfeit city. Second down and long. Offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. Hopefully the next guy learns or we're going to have a pile of dead refs. <laughs> Second down in a mile. Third and two. The teams have kept each other at bay for now, but there's still plenty of time to bribe refs and kill the other team's star players, so it's anyone's game, really, Bricks. Third and two. They go to the ground game and pick up the first. Nicely done. And it's first and ten. And they run it for a couple of yards. And that'll be second and eight to go. He's got a good chiropractor. And it's first and ten. First down. Give this guy a few catches and watch his confidence take off. He is deadly in the open field, Bricks. And it's first and ten. Oh, and he just 
just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. shot here extra point but this guy could blow it straight through the uprights here comes the kicker oh, i can't wait to hear this what's the kicker grim uh, this guy in the field oh i thought you were gonna tell me a story like here's the kicker when i turned on the light it wasn't wrong in my bed it was a chip wearing a wig First and ten. Second and one. Assuming he was aiming for the ground. Man, this coach must have played too many video games. You gotta punt it here. Come on. And he just nailed him right on the numbers for a touchdown. How have they not killed him yet? He's wearing a new mink coat, for God's sake. He's seven layers of smarmy, Grim. Yeah, you're time for time. I won't 
Come here, Wayne. Come on. Looks like the and they've had enough. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref. is trying to keep some time on the clock for their offense or someone let a real bonehead touch the controller. Second down the size of Bricks Wiener. Hey! Sorry, partner. And he punched his way up. Oh, a great catch and he picks up a new set of downs. And with one timeout remaining, the defense has to get something going here. First and ten. <laughs> and that's the last time out. The D has to either break the clock or the offense if they want to win. Hey, as long as something gets broke, right? Second down in a very lot. Nice run for five yards. Third down and long. And they went to the air and came up big. And they quickly call a timeout to stop the clock. The kicker should make this, but you know how it goes in this league. And it's a miss. Looks like the QB had some issues with the ball placement. Spikes out. Spikes out. How many times do you have to tell that idiot QB to hold the ball with the spikes out? For a second there. <laughs> the quarterback goes into a hurry up offense. He's looking for a quick score. Uh, we are quick. Uh, we are. <laughs> Third down, and the punter is warming up. He just got crushed. <laughs> the offense is going to need a lot more than a first down, but this will be a good start. Boom! <laughs> I'd be impressed if he splits the uprights from this far away, Bricks. If he does it, they're going to split his skull wide open. Kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just. Our middies, the mutineers get the opposition and are victorious. They come up big today with a solid win, and the opposition will be licking their wounds on the long plane ride home. I heard wounds taste just like chicken. I was it scrambled tomato soup? I forget, but a good scab tastes like bacon. That I know. Mm -mm, a scab lettuce tomato sandwich. Sounds like a picnic. And the MVP is about to inspire us with some words of wisdom. Yeah. <laughs>
with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's game was brought to you by the Hexon Oil Corporation. We drill it, spill it, and kill it so you...